Hey everybody, welcome to my home theater. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a stairwell, but it leads up to my home theater. And so I live in the city in a loft, a uh, loft condominium. And so my theater is situated in my loft upstairs in my spare room. So on the way up there, you know, I have certain things like signs on the wall, movie theme stuff. But I'll give you a quick walkthrough. Walk through. So um, yeah, like this is a sign that I need to put up. You know, a little movie theater, double feature or whatever. You know, I have a little exit sign that you can put batteries in and turn on the light. Showtime. I got this neat little rope traffic thing that movie theaters have. I probably paid about $100 for this on Amazon. And then I've got, you know, a lot of these movie theme signs. You know, like this one lights up. But, um, you know, a lot of the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby about a decade ago. So I don't I don't think you can get a lot of it still anymore. Like I see a lot of people with their theaters and they like to show this one off. But um, a lot of these are pretty old, you know. Like I said, I don't think you can get them anymore. And it's funny, I actually haven't changed much in my theater in the past 10 years. The, the, the last thing I've changed it, it really is the, the speakers. And I'll, I'll get into that in a little bit. But beyond the speakers, I haven't upgraded much at all. It's pre pretty much the same thing. Um, decor included so like this sign for example this is something that i got a while ago and um it's pretty neat you know my my guests can come over and kind of write down what movies they like um you know i, I had some cool responses on here but my brother kind of played a joke on me and you know put his stupid responses in here like like who's the best actress eddie murphy as respucia <laughs> you know how you doing or best villain is dirty d damn it you know, best actor, Lou Diamond Phillips. I don't know why he did that. But I put this little shelf up. You know, you can grab the chalk, scrub out what you don't like, and make your nominations. So here's my home theater. And I think it, what's best is maybe I'll go from left to right. But so I have a, uh, I'll get into the speakers, but just to finish up the decor. Again, I like these little, little signs. Bijou Theater. You know, it's funny. I actually live a couple blocks away from a real commercial theater. But, um, you know, I live in the city, but uh, I like my little personal private theater. So that's kind of representative of my Bijou Theater. And this cinema sign, again, this is pretty cool. I got that from Hobby Lobby. I don't think they sell it anymore. I got one on both sides. Uh, I see a lot of people with that one that came from Hobby Lobby as well. And then, you know, of course, I got, I saw these on YouTube videos and I had to buy them once I saw them. So my room dimensions are nine nine foot you know wide by or by uh 16 feet uh depth so you know i got a voice activated it's kind of cool but um i guess let's go ahead and look at the uh speakers next or we can look at the candy real quick the other thing like i said a lot of my um, stuff is almost a decade old. So the popcorn machine, my, my parents actually gave me a while ago. And, um, you know, I got a lot of candy. Uh, I think the only thing I'm missing is, you know, I keep buying Butterfinger and eating them. I buy a lot of the, the chocolate candy and eat can chocolate candy. But a lot of the stuff is, you know, expired. Like, like the Skittles, you see 2015. 2015 you know so a lot of this is just for show it's not really for actual eating because um, it's all kind of old but it's been here for a while almost as long as the theater and so i guess let's uh go to the actual gear so we can talk about the surround sound um you know my left and right i got in that 5.0 package deal from costco this is a budget system but uh this is the or this is a Klipsch uh, 625 FA, I think. It has the integrated Atmos. This I actually don't use. I use uh, actual heights. But I did try that out, the, that whole bouncy ceiling effect. It actually does work in my room because I have eight, eight foot tall ceilings. So it's not too tall. So it, it worked, but the, uh, the heights are a little bit better, in my opinion. The subs I got from Costco, you know, they're 12 inch, probably paid about 120 or 150 for them on sale. And then this RC 34, or reference 34C, whatever it is, this is pretty good. It's not as 
big as the 504, 505 that everyone knows. So I, th I think that one, had I paid a $100 more, I could have gotten that bigger one. And I think it has a better frequency response, maybe a bit more efficient. But so that's kind of what I got. And then my surrounds and rears. So my surrounds, I got these infinities. And I actually had these back when I first set up my theater about 10 years ago. At the time, I had no idea what I was doing. So even my surrounds, I had them pointing forward towards the screen as opposed to the listening position. So I had no idea what I was doing. But um, I only had a two-channel amplifier, a stereo amplifier. At, at once I found out that now, now AVRs have audio and video processing, then I was like, all right, let me go ahead and get a new AVR. And it, it, I was ma mainly motivated for being able to play like a, a media player, multiple DVD players, PlayStation, and you know, Chromecast. So that's kind of why I went the AVR route. And then I started learning about surround sound. You know, I started learning about play, speaker placement towards the listening position. And once I had the AVR that's capable, then I upgraded the whole system. So that's kind of my path. So now as far as with my heights, I went with SVS prime elevations in white. I went with SVS not only because I wanted a full range speaker. I didn't want to go with the integrated Atmos because they don't have the full range uh, frequency response, and then also the Eclipse's Atmos heights. I don't. I don't think they have as good as, at least my understanding, they're not as a fit. They, they don't have as much frequency responses as SVS is. So I went with them. In addition, I could get them in white, and they blend with the with the ceiling. You know, I was kind of thinking long term. If I ever leave this place, this is my condo, and I do own it. But if I ever leave, you know, I, I want to be able to take these with me and not have to paint my walls black. I may do the black velvet, but you know, uh, this works for now. In addition, I didn't want to cut holes in the ceiling, so I figured the SVS heights, because they're so versatile, they had the mounting brackets and everything, it was just easier for me to do this. You can see I, I ran the wiring behind the screen, and uh, the screen's nothing special, but um, we got it on Amazon for about like $100. It's 140-inch, but the projector fills the entire screen. But um, you can see I obviously don't have timbre matching because I got SVSs, Infinity speakers, and then Klipsch. But um, it works for me. I like it. So in addition to, like I said, the two subs, I also have bass shakers in my, in my couch. And so I'll give you uh, some, I'll send you some photos or I'll post some photos so you can see how those look, but that's kind of what I have. It was easy install. You know, I just took a board, and ran it underneath here, drilled it into the frame, and then I drilled the uh, the base shakers onto the board, and I get plenty of tactile feeling. I mean, I, I use machine screws, uh, nuts and bolts, in order to get everything in. You know, I, I, I use that to anchor the wood panel to the to the because it has a metal frame, and then I used uh, again machine screws, nuts and bolts to anchor the uh, base shakers to the wood and those base shakers really do make a difference uh it really gives that tactile feel i live in this in a condo in a building and so i don't run my subs because i don't want to disturb people um so but here's my gear i have dvd player a amp for my base shakers you know pretty cheap the base shakers probably cost about 50 a piece i have two of them and then the amp is pretty cheap. I got this on Amazon for like 50, you know, speaker wire plus banana plugs cost probably around 150, 160, 70. But, um, I have an Emotiva basics, a five that powers my bed layer. The, the receiver powers my Atmos. And so that's a Denon AVR X 3700H. I went with this one cause I wanted to go full Atmos and, um, get an amp. And man, an amp makes a huge difference. Uh, I would not run on just a, uh, a AVR in the future. I definitely want an external amp. Now this projector, it's nothing big, nothing amazing, but I like it. It's an Optima and it's 720 uh, re resolution, 720p. <laughs> and you can ask, why is he watching 720p in a room that, with a screen this big sitting so close? But you know, it works for me. Um, and it's Optima, so it's nothing expensive, but this projector has lasted me, you know, close to 10 years. 
Um, I did buy a replacement one and I'm, you know, I'm considering installing it soon, but, uh, you know, I have this one, so might as well use it until, until it dies.